Good afternoon, everybody. This is Traveling Texans, Rick and Sarah. Sarah's behind the camera today, and I'll be here re repairing our Ami Can uh, meat grinder. Okay, so we were grinding some brisket the other day to make our wonderful uh, ground brisket burgers, and this machine just stopped. And this gear that I'm holding in my hand is a replacement for the culprit. See, this is a plastic gear and it runs against a metal gear inside this machine and it just stripped the plastic teeth clean off of it. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, open this thing up and replace this. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do. I'm not gonna film every simple step. First thing you wanna do is take this off so that you can release the motor from the, the interior of the body. And that's what holds the nozzle on when you grind it. So next, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to turn this so you can see it. There's six holes here with screws in. We need to re remove these six screws. And we'll be back when that's done. Can you get me a little? One more. All right, this is the last one. Okay. So now we've got the last one out. I'm on my bowl so I won't lose them. And this just moves right out of the way. Oh, just put that back on again. S sorry, I was filming the bowl so we won't lose our nuts or Sarah, our bolts. <laughs> so Sarah won't lose her screws, they're in the bowl. <laughs> we remove the, the bottom, it just comes off very easily. Now there's one screw that you have to remove. It's right here. I already removed it, it holds this wire in place. Right here, like that. I've already removed that. Next, oops, boy, that was easy. This is the door that uh, covers your cord. Move that out of the way. Pull this little plastic piece out of the way. And now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I'm gonna try to show you. Down inside here, there are four more screws that you have to take out in order to get the motor loose and pull it out. And see if there are on this end here. There's one here, 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 and here. I'm using I'm using this to remove them, a nice long extension on here just to get down to them, makes it quick and easy. Be right back. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're taking out the last one. It's an advantage to use a magnetized screwdriver so you don't drop everything down on the bottom. Okay, now the motor head is loose. So you just have to manipulate it a little bit. And it pulls right out. Not the prettiest dismantling job, but it works. So we just move this over here and we set it right down on the table. Okay. While I retrieve some parts I dropped in the bottom. I don't know where that screw went. Oh, there it is. Now we just simply have to remove three screws to uncover the transmission here, here, and here. Mm -hmm. All right, that's the last one. Now you have to be a little bit gentle here. You don't want to lose anything you simply lift this off and there are your gears Shut. hold that piece up and this place goes right there so you just simply remove this one I need both hands for that and then you simply pull this one out put it back in Slide, it has to match up to this drive gear, and that's where the other one stripped out. And I've already replaced this. I just decided to make this because there wasn't a good one online. So you take this gear, mesh it in, boom. Now you got to make sure this washer is in place and this spacer is in place. And you simply carefully reinsert this. And you know you'll have it right because you'll see the two little pieces go through right there. They just pop through. Now then you just take your screws and reassemble. And I won't bore you with the reassembly. We'll flash back now and then. 
Okay, so here's the cover for the cord. It's easiest now just to slide this right in so you don't have to try to force it in there after you get the bottom on. Okay, now we put the bottom back on. It just simply fits right in. You should not have to force it. It should just drop in place. Then simply put the six screws back in. Just zipping them down in gently. Don't want to over tighten them and break the case. Simply just go back and make sure they're snug by hand. I'm happy with that. They're good. Then we just simply reinstall this, making sure we don't cross thread it and cause another daddy 911. And this just simply fits in here. This is your grinding head and that's what this thing's job is here just to secure that so I went to the Omnicam website and they have a downloadable manual so you can find the part that you need and then you simply either on their website or right here on their label is their 800 number that you can call I'll put the number and the extension of the gentleman that helped me in the comments as well as the website. So there you have it. We're ready to start grinding some meat and get back to business. Oh, this part is $25. They have a minimum $50 order at Omnican. So I bought two of them. This one has lasted us nine years so far. The first one, the original one in the machine. So we should be good for at least another 18 years, I'm thinking. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and here's the phone number with the extension of the gentleman that helped me. Thank you.